Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. The major organized crime and anti-corruption agency MOCA charged two more persons on Thursday in the alleged $222 million fraud at the government agency in sports. Jonique Mills and Andrea Picton join promoter of the Chug It and French Connection parties Andrew Wright, Rudolph Barnes and O'Neill Hope who were nabbed on Wednesday. A court Thursday denied a second application for bail by accused fraudster Jeanan Panton in the case involving the investment firm Stocks and Securities Limited. Ms. Panton is facing a 22-count indictment charging her with forgery, larceny as a servant and engaging in a transaction involving criminal property. The Supreme Court today lifted an injunction against founder and former director of the investment firm Stocks and Securities Limited, Hugh Crosscree. His lawyer, Nico Pagan, also says the court ordered the regulator of the Financial Services Commission to pay Mr. Crosscree's legal costs. The donation by private sector players towards Foreign Affairs Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith's failed 2022 bid for Commonwealth Secretary General is now the subject of a lawsuit filed in the Supreme Court. Jamaica-born retired U.S. law enforcement agent Wilfred Rattigan, who filed the lawsuit, is seeking a declaration that both Mrs. Johnson-Smith and her ministry did not comply with a law and a directive by the Finance Ministry that require them to report the donations as a gift. In sports, tennis great Rafael Nadal says he's in a difficult situation as he does not know when he will return from his injury layoff. In your currency trading, at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $153.43. The British pound sterling for $193.56 and the Canadian dollar for $117.61. In your other forecast, Friday will be partly cloudy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.